Hi guys, Mrs Davidson here. Today we are going to add colour to this French fancy in the style of Joel Penkman. So we've taken Joel Penkman's lovely drawing and we're going to have a go at applying colour in the same way to this piece here, which is the same image, enlarged slightly and faded. So we're not going to worry about drawing today, we're literally concerning ourselves with the application of colour and tone. So because I'm working on a wooden table, I've put some plain sheets of paper underneath. So if your table has a rough or textured surface, it's worth putting some extra sheets under so you get a nice smooth finish when you're adding colour. So I've selected a range of pencil crayons. Um, they're all from different uh, collections of pencil crayons. So I've got a blue, uh, a slightly reddish pink, a grey, orange, purple, yellow, a different type of pink and a red. So you can choose a selection from your pencil crayons. They don't need to be exactly the same colours of these and you don't need all these colours. You could just use some of them. So I'm going to set those there to choose from. They need to be sharp. So I've got my pencil sharpener here and I'm going to make sure that all my pencils go to a really nice point so I'm ready to work with them in a precise way. Now what you can notice on this image is that there's areas of light and areas of dark and we're going to make sure we include those when we transfer the colour onto this piece here. So I'm going to start with the lighter areas and I'm going to use a pink for that. So I'm going to start shading really lightly and build up the colour. And I'm going to press on really, really lightly in these parts because it's where the highlight is and I want it to be nice and pale in these areas. As I get to the top here where there's more colour, I'm going to press on so I'm going to hold my pencil closer to the end of the nib. and apply more pressure. I'm moving my pencil in small circular motions and this helps to keep the shading really smooth. Now, although I'm happy with where the light and dark areas are with this shading, I feel like the colour is too far from the colour on Joel Penkman's cake. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange to warm it up, because my pink's quite cool, whereas his pink is quite warm. So very lightly, I'm going to layer the orange over the top. And I'm using the side of the pencil to shade, as this creates a smoother finish. Now I'm quite happy with the colour that's on the cake but I need to now concentrate on some of the darker areas and to do this I'm going to take a cooler colour such as the blue or the purple and I think at the moment I'm going to go for this purple shade and work this into some of the shadow areas on the cake and I'm working it very lightly as I want to be able to build up the layers of colour. If I press too heavily, it's not going to work too well. The crayons have quite a waxy finish, so if you press on really hard, they become impossible to layer up. So it's really important to press. 
press on gently and build up the colour in gradual steps. So now I've got those cool undertones on, I'm going to work back over with the pink. And at this point I can press on quite heavily because I want it to add some cover to the purple and add some density to the shades. I'm going to add a little bit of grey over the purple now as I feel the, the purple is standing out quite strong and I would like it to be more subtle and I still want to keep this area dark so the grey goes over nice and smoothly and just tones back that purple a little bit. red. I'm going to put that into some of these like, bright areas like here. A little bit down here. And it really is just about layering up until you get a really vibrant set of colours that work well together on the piece and show the light and dark really effectively. too red there. I'm going to pop the pink back over. Okay, now I can see from this image that it goes quite dark and sort of reddish along these areas where the icing is, where the white icing goes. So I'm going to just pick those out again with the red pen, the red pencil. One there too. And I'm going to stop there with the pink icing. The next thing I'm going to do is add some very subtle colour onto the white areas of icing. Now I really need to be careful with these areas because it gives the illusion of it being white. So there is colour in there. But I need to make sure that I'm going really light with it because I don't want to lose the contrast between these sections and the pink. So very, very subtle application of colour. There are some areas that I'm leaving completely white, such as the areas here and some very subtle areas here that need to stay white as well. And it's also on this section that I'm going to introduce a little bit of blue. So I'm going to take the pale blue and I can just see some very subtle blue areas here and I'm going to put those in. And because the pink colours are warm and the blues and greys are cool, they work really well together on this drawing. They create contrast and they also balance. And there's more of the blues used in the case, which we'll get to shortly. Okay, so I'm going to leave the pink icing and the, the little bits of white icing just so they are. I'm quite happy with those. The colours are a little bit different to Joel Penkman's uh, but if we remember that this is a printout and it would be really impossible to get it exactly the same because I don't have the same uh, equipment that he used. I'm using my own pencil crayons so the colours are going to be a little bit different but I'm happy that that's as close as I can get it. The next thing I'm going to work on is the cake case. Now this is quite complicated but because it's printed out, we can see where the dark and light areas go. 
So we are just looking at the colours and transferring those. So I'm applying a layer of pink first and I'm looking at where it appears on here and popping it onto my drawing. I am leaving areas of white where it needs to be so where the highlights of the case are, they're bright white so I don't want to be applying any colour to these areas. You'll also notice that I'm working up and down the cake case, I don't want to be shading across. The pencil lines actually help to describe the shape so I want them to follow the direction of the creases in the cake case and it's fairly time consuming to do this guys you can't rush it so take your time keep looking at what you're drawing from as you reference While I'm applying the pink colour, I'm also going to add it into the shadow underneath and do this area at the same time. Okay, I'm now going to add some yellow. There's quite a few little accents where yellow is used, just to pick out some of the warmer tones. So I'm going to build that into where I've already put the pink, in some areas layering it, in others using the yellow on its own. Next I'm going to add in some of the blue colours, particularly around some of these details and this really is just a case of building them up. I will need to sharpen up some of the definition on the cape case later on. For now I'm just getting the colour down, making sure the light and dark areas are where they need to be. Now that I've got a base of the yellow, blue and pink colours on the case, I'm going to work in with some of the darker colours like the grey and the purple to add definition and sharpen up some of the edges. 